The first time she saw Solomon, it's here. It's here in the Song of Songs. Solomon was coming from Lebanon, riding his horse, accompanied by 60 officials and an army. When he saw her, listen to what happens. The women in Jerusalem, they fell in love with Solomon. They threw themselves at Solomon. They wanted this mighty king because Solomon comes with a soft life. Now listen to this. The Shulamite, the Shulamite says in the Song of Songs, I was not impressed by your horses. When you galloped from Lebanon and the women of Jerusalem fell for you, I did not fall. You know what she does? This woman, by today's terms, we would call her cheeky, playing hard to get. Do you know what she did? Read Song of Songs. He came to her as a king. When he arrived, she replies, she says, my lover is a shepherd. Oh, you did not just get what she done. She says to him, I will not be impressed by your power. You come to me majestically riding a horse. I don't want that. Show me you're a shepherd. In other words, show me you are a man. Show me you can work. Show me you can lead. Show me you can take care. Show me you can protect. I am not impressed by your gold. I want to see the contents of your heart. What are you made of, King Solomon? This woman challenges Solomon. Solomon has never faced such a woman. What kind of a woman is this? She's not letting his gold and silver buy his way. She is saying, hold on, kinky boy. We don't do gold and silver. We do character here. You want me? Show me character. Solomon Jedediah, son of David. Your father was a shepherd. Then he became a king. Show me the shepherd in you, and I will respect the king in you. Solomon finds himself saying, okay, okay. If I must not be a king, then I will be a shepherd. Then he changes the poem. He starts talking to about himself as a shepherd. He says, I am a shepherd too. Follow the footsteps of my sheep, Shulamite, and you will know that I am a shepherd. The Shulamite is no fly by night. The Shulamite does not dance for Savannah drinks on her head. The Shulamite does not take abuse in the name of driving a Ferrari. The Shulamite says, no, Solomon, not with me. I may not have been born rich like you. I'm a shepherd girl. I'm a vineyard girl. Show me what you can do. You will have my honor. But there is something else Solomon is doing. So you see the song of songs should be taught to every teenage boy. You know why? Solomon teaches men that a woman's body can be celebrated without being touched. Do you know how he does it? Read song of songs. Whenever he touches her body, it comes from her lips, not from him. In other words, she authorizes being touched. He does not do it by his own right. I love what Solomon is doing here. Solomon is teaching men, and even when a woman is naked, she is not yours to touch. He describes her thighs but he can't touch them. He describes her breasts, but he can't touch 
touched them. He kept saying, look at your breasts. They are like mountains. Look at your thighs. They are like the flowing velvet valleys of Israel. But he never touches. Listen to me, Solomon never touches. It is her who says, lay your left hand under my head. Let your right hand caress me. I desire your touch. The Shulamite owns the copyrights to her body. And Solomon teaches any man who sees a naked woman and his brain moves from his head to his testicles. Solomon says you are not a man. When you see a woman you laugh. Solomon says don't touch. Bleed. Bleed. Impress. And did you see? It comes from all sides. Impress with your work. Impress with your words. Impress. When she is satisfied, she will authorize the touch. Solomon shows us as much as he had a thousand wives. Solomon never slept with a woman without her consent and permission. Solomon honored the female form. Solomon considered the female body a sacred space. You know today, today even women don't want to be Shulamites. Try to be a Solomon. Try to love a woman and not touch without permission. Women will be gossiping in their groups. He is weak. He is a coward. He fears me. But wait a minute, that is exactly what Solomon says. A man must fear the body of a woman. It is a sacred space. You should approach it with caution. You should make sure that you are welcomed and invited. But today's women, some of them have no Shulamite understanding of the divinity of their bodies.